go. Yes. Is the video gonna go? There it is. Okay. There it is. Woo. So hello and welcome, all you lovely YouTube viewers. Uh, this is a VOD recording, which we're taking a bit of a different take of it now. Uh, I'm dual streaming to both Twitch and YouTube, so come lunchtime, I'll stop the VOD so that way we can make an editable VOD out of it. And then after lunch, we'll restart it and you can watch the rest of the day. So basically, every day you'll get two chunks, the morning and the afternoon. And the middle chunk is just me sitting down eating lunch. So super exciting, I know. But we've skipped a few steps on this and now I gotta record this for the actual VOD VOD that I'm making manually. Which is, we skipped a few steps on the condenser part in the video. I have the new one in. It is very easy to get out. You compress those little tabs right there on either side. Pops forward, slides out. All you got to do is disconnect this high pressure sen sorry, this uh, refrigerant pressure sensor and the two lines. If this, if this piece of crap wasn't here, you'd be able to do all that without having to uh, take it all off. In fact, I'm not entirely sure why I can't squeeze it out with this thing on but it seems like it's just a little too big. Just a little too big. So you gotta move the radiator, shutters, and the rest of that crap. So we currently have it under, ooh, ran out of cord. Ran out of cord. So we currently have it under a vacuum and it's leak testing. So we will check it again, then we'll charge it, and then we'll worry about running it later but we want to make sure that it doesn't leak before we put it all back together and have to go back in there. Ah, there's my recording button. Now nah, you guys are good. Uh, no, actually, Joe... Manso. I'm going to call you Manso. Hi, Manso. No, actually, this is a lot different. Uh, there is a intercooler. There is a... There is an condenser, intercooler, radiator. Intercooler... I believe that's the intercooler. It might be something else. Because I know this is... Is this the fucking radiator? I don't... I mean, these go... This pipes into the... This must be for the something else because both of these sides have these little coolant lines. They're like additional coolers. There's so much cooling on this car. <laughs> Stop, Paul, you're crazy. I think what you should do is do a subscription goal. When you get 10,000 subs, you'll work all day with your fingers paired up and tied together so I have three fingers like this. Oh yeah, actually, other than fitting in small spaces, I'd probably do fine with that. I tend to use two or three fingers when you're screwing things in. Leak test passed, hooray. Hopefully he's got any contamination out of there. Um, yeah. So now we can start putting her back together. To which we need to plug in the airbags. That worries me the most. I wish I knew where the damn battery was on this car. Where is the battery on this car? Is it under the damn seat? Like every other Q7. Shit, yeah. Of course it is can't open the doors of the on the lift enough to get to it. Fuck. That stresses me out. I don't like plugging in airbags when the battery's connected, but I can't get to the battery where it sits. So I guess we just have to. Hopefully this should be disabled because the car is off. So let's put the headlights back in. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do.
Where does this thing clip? Does it clip there? Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Whew. Aha, excellent. That one's in. No, condenser had a hole in it. There's one side of the bolts. Well, this one goes in here, which is right up here. Yeah. Oh, I gotta link you guys that stream. I make Toffee's job more interesting every day by making sure that he has tons of places to mod. All right, Toffee. So if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd very much appreciate it. Going over there and popping some buttons. Because it'll help me with the content creation. Ooh, my back is tired from this morning. So I'm trying to put these exactly back on their witness marks. Perfect. Can't even tell I took it out. And that's the plan. That's the plan. No, it's because I was doing heavy squats today. It's not hurts, it's just tired. Hurt was probably the wrong word. Make sure I don't forget these fucking things. And this one I think went. It'd have to go with something haha, like this. This one goes here, so it's after the headlights, but before the the front end, obviously. So this would go here. Cause it even gives you little holes to get to the headlights, which I'm not going to use at the moment because I don't need to. I have been streaming longer. I've been streaming automotive longer than this car has existed on the road. Sorry, I'm trying to stretch out. But also, if you don't mind, uh, Go onto the YouTube and compare the video quality. I'm curious. Fuck. I'm using what, 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 what? Nothing. What do you need? I need to pull on the car because I got a, apparently I have a ton of shit to do today. Okay. Noah's working on the I'm truck. I'm gonna be in here for a minute. How long's a minute? I gotta look for a broken wire in a, in a rear door. Okay. And put it over here. Jason. I'm about to put all the stuff back on, so. I hate it when I walk in here, I'm like, I got this and that. And then all of a sudden they're like, no, you got this huge job. 
Yeah, I know. That's why I like useful schedules, because then you can mentally prepare for what you're doing. Thank you, DJ Tom. It's definitely, it's still sharper. Okay, I was wondering if that had something to do with the multi-output, but it doesn't. It's just that YouTube looks, looks better. think quite a bit. All right, so we got one headlight in. I wanted to show you how this headlight goes in before, uh, well, so that way you can see how it comes in, goes in before we take it out. The bolt on the top here doesn't need to come out. It just needs to be loosened. And then you carefully thread it through here. Little rubber piece to come off. I personally like to connect the connectors before I get it all the way installed. There is a stupid airbag connector on here, which, where's the cable? There's the cable. Preferably disconnect the battery. I did not because I was, I don't know, I didn't think that there were airbag connectors. Whew, nothing blew up. It's always good. So now we got those two plugged in. We can carefully, there's, you got a slot to get this bolt in like that. And then there's this little spot down here that you gotta lift it up to get it over. And it did this on the other side too. This rubber gasket at the top doesn't like to play nice, but it does go in. And this side was the hardest to get, there we go. That did it. And so, once you get those in, you have four bolts. They look like this. There's big silver Torx, another big black Torx, which these are both T30s, and then two T25s. Let's put them in and I'll show you where they go. The T30, big black T30 goes right here. The little one, the little silver one goes right there. So that one you gotta like line up. And that one's gonna be a little bit more of a pain. The other two go right here. These little T25s. So you gotta put that one in there and then the other one goes right there, which is a little more irritating to get to. So let me adjust these. Make sure they're in there correctly. I do like to put the bolts in all loose to make sure that they do fit. Where is it? This little slot here with the silver bolt does move. So you just got to get that started. It will move some. You don't want to move it too much. And then this last T25. What? Is the audio cutting out at all? Or is it just IPA? So the best mechanic trick, if you will, is to try and adjust it to where you don't see the witness marks. What are witness marks, you ask? If you don't know, they are that little spot right there. You see on the bottom where you can see a little bit? You want that to be up. It's basically the pattern of where the bolt was sitting. See, now it doesn't even look like I took out that bolt. And this one's a little easier to see. You can kind of see the ring around it where it was sitting. So you'll run it in and then move it up and down until, the, until you can't see where that ring and you have it put back where it was.
Good morning, Jedi Outlast. Well, maybe if your video quality isn't as good on uh, YouTube, you might need to check your YouTube settings. <laughs> Make sure you're not in uh, See, like right now, my witness marks are a little high. I don't know why. Come on down. Come on down. Did I tighten you guys up already? I did. Listen that one up. So when you're doing the headlights, you just you do want to make sure that you give it its attention to make sure you get it in there right where you got it out from. I don't know if that's going to be possible in this. It seems like that. Oh, the washer can move a little bit too. So, we might be doing pretty good. There's that one. Let's go ahead and tighten up the top one. Hello again, Jeffrey. How are you? And so when you get all the bolts back in, you shouldn't see any rings around them or little half rings or anything like that. They should be nice. Like this one's the one that I couldn't get quite all the way in, but the washer moves a little bit. So I figured that's mainly the reason, but it should look like you didn't disturb it. It's pretty nice. So the whole idea is when you take something apart, especially on a car, especially on a customer's car, when you put it back together, other than the new part being in there, you want it to look like you never touched it because it should look just like it did before it came in. Well, assuming that before you touched it, it wasn't a nasty, awful mess. Clean it, make sure it's seats right, et cetera, et cetera. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, I mean, Milwaukee's building great stuff, so I can't blame them. Like, I, I want to buy 100%. I want to get rid of these and get Milwaukee stuff. For two reasons, and I can tell you the two reasons. One, they're good, or they're of equal quality, or they're, they're better. Um, one of those, for lack of a better way of putting it, that. And then the other one is, I have other Milwaukee stuff at home. I got drills. I got sawzall, I got a uh, cordless saw. Like, I, I if I'm if I'm, if you watch a lot of uh, what's the word? The people that do stuff on um, on construction people, uh, builders, things like that. I watch uh, Scott Brown, Scott Brown Carpentry. He is my absolute favorite construction guy, and there are many others that I watch. So like, don't don't think that he's the only one, but. He's a builder and he uses his recommendation, which I totally get is pick one battery platform, you know, pick a battery platform and try and stick with it. So whatever you're going to use the most, pick that platform. So whether it's DeWalt, Milwaukee, uh, I can't think of the other ones off the top of my head. Um, the blue ones, who are the blue ones that typically make blue things? It's not DeWalt. It's, I can't remember. It's right there. I'm staring at it. Makita, that's it. Makita, Bosch, whatever, uh, Festool, whatever you're going to use, if you want to do that, just buy into a battery platform and then see what they offer to make sure they offer all the things that you want. 
So I know Milwaukee offers ratchets and like extended ratchets, three eighths, quarter inch. They make a great half inch impact electric gun. It's, it's badass. To the point that uh, one of my viewers, Barrick, uh, came down to spend some time with me down here, which was awesome. And he uh, wanted to work on some stuff and he, he had some tools and he showed up here. And so we put his Milwaukee to the test against my three eighths, or sorry, my half inch impact. We were trying to take off a Honda, some sort of crank bolt, I think, but I might've put those on first. I should have taken them off. Um, his half inch electric impact got the Honda crank bolt off when my half inch impact air couldn't. And it did it fast. I was like, hmm, I'm impressed. You have my attention. <laughs> Awesome. So all we got left is this, these two, and all that goes on after. Yeah, that also works ballistics. They have a one inch cordless impact, holy crap. All right, Ballistic Bob, we'll learn you. What'd you find? Nothing. Nothing? What's well, supposed to happen? Or what's the complaint versus what are you trying to figure out? Uh, the, the latch won't open. The rear latch? Yeah. I, I got it, I mean, I got it open to an access hole. Right, but it doesn't, it doesn't function. Yeah, it won't open. So, what are you doing now? Are you scanning it? I'm gonna try again. I mean, I tried all this shit yesterday. Mm -hmm. I checked. I found a fuse. Fuse isn't blown. Did you get to the connector and check for signals? How? What do you mean how? It's right here. There's no button. There's no button in the. Uh, there's no button in the car. There's no button on the key fob. The only way to get this open is that. Oh well, you pull that off, and then you find what attaches to the trunk. Well, you need to, basically, you need to understand how that trunk latch works. So you might need to look in all that or whatever, look at the wiring diagram, and see, like, does this switch come before the latch, or is the switch kind of like with the latch? Is it like one unit, like the switch and the latch, or the they both should get a signal at the same time? The actuator and the latch is all built in. But this is... That's just a, that's just a button. Is a button. So what is the button going to send to this latch? If the button is going to send a signal, whether it be just a 12 volt power, like, or a ground, you can look up in all that and find out which pins and which wires on this connector here are going to be sent from this. So you can pull the connector off, take your probe, stick it in there, hit the button, and if it gets a signal, then you know the latch is dead. Well, if it doesn't, might, then you got to look something else. This, man. That's fine. I have That's fine with me. Uh, it might be in like a body control module. You can look for like data output, uh, possibly. I I do believe it chase the bag ant, the bag ant, chase. I don't know if I can say chase. There's some sore spots around here for names of chase. I don't know about the Harbor Freight ones. I don't know. Also, the good part about streaming on YouTube is people that can only watch on YouTube can watch there. Because. Tail audio visual, probably a backup uh, camera. Okay. Does, does it have one? I mean, it might have the option for one. What year is that thing? It's newer. It's like a 2016. Yeah, I'd go with tail audio visual, aka a backup camera. Look at that. We're doing good. 
I'm just going to vacuum it some more to make sure we get... Why not? Just make sure we get any and all contaminants out. I don't think there's too much vacuuming of an AC system. All right, now we got a slide on the front end. So to cover everything that we've done, we've got these in. Didn't forget those. Got this all bolted down. Got that clip down. Got the radiator shutter connected. Where's the connector for the radiator shutter? I don't know if this will go in first, but we'll try. That should go right there. I don't think it necessarily has to pass the front end. This probably connects to something around here. And this closes like that. So it can be aerodynamic and give it I'd, I'd still like to know, just sheer curiosity there, Scandal. This all seals up the top. This seals up around the sides. So, yeah. Other than an air bearing. It was uh, in the front of the condenser, because we replaced condenser. Which it's, where'd I put it? Took a rock to the face. I mean, that's the short answer. It just took a rock to the face. So, right there was where it hit it with something and punched a hole in it. Oh, sorry, not there. Not there, because it managed to hit the, the line. And so it was just a tiny little leak, but it's enough that I had to do all this to get air conditioning back. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it shows you how the fins allow air through and how it gives you the maximum surface area. Ooh. You could do like sexy time <laughs> peep shows with a condenser. <laughs> You like the dual stream? Excellent. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm trying to make sure that there's nothing I forgot. We got the headlights in, we got them all plugged in. Because that's one of the things that honestly screws me up. Um, where was I? So, the thing that, that's kind of mentally unnerving, it doesn't, it, it's not bad at all, but usually, like I said, things go together. They go, you can put things back together faster than you took them apart, because going back together, you, you already took it apart once. And so, unless you're doing something different, but if you're just taking it apart, replacing a part, and putting it back together, the going back together is very easy, comparatively speaking. Because, um, you know, you know where all the bolts are, you know how everything attaches, you know how it goes together. However, the thing that's kind of unnerving about it is usually because it goes so fast, you're like, I had to forget something. This took me, like, hours to get all this off, and I've got it back together in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's just the way it works. <laughs> you're not sitting there being like, how does, where's that bolt, what is this, what's holding it on, why can't I get this out? And so sometimes I'll spend five or 10 minutes being like, yep, that's there, that's there, that's there. Nothing's left. Bolts are accounted for. What are these bolts? These bolts go to the under, the under part of the front piece. This goes to the antenna, which is attached to that. So that means according to my bolts layout that I'm putting the front end back on now. Also, I do want to put, tighten these up slightly because I loosen them, those tens you remember those nightmarish tens that we were getting to yesterday
Oh. Um. Also, I said I was going to show you what what bolts I loosened. So you can get one bolt up through here, and then you can get this one because it's got room. This one can't get to. Don't try. This one, the best thing you can do is, again, reach under there with the pick tool and lift the clip, and hopefully you have enough uh, kind of leverage to pop it out without breaking it. So now I'm going through and just snugging these back up again to make sure they're tight because I did loosen them up a little bit to make sure that I could get the front end off without tearing the plastic. So I just I should pop that in there in the middle of the repair. So if this is seems like a jarring cut, that's what it was for, is to show you an easier, bigger, better visual of what you're getting to. All right, well, let's put the front end back on. Just gotta move you guys out of the way, which I guess I might as well record it, because why not? Whew. Especially if I break something, then it'll at least be fail videos. Second technician, my butt. Oop. Go over. Ow. Success. <laughs> you just gotta get the little ears up on the sides. And this goes somewhere. I'll figure that out. Hopefully you guys can remember how your cords ran. Take pictures. There's a lot of little cords under here. But there we go. I will ensure that everything fit correctly. And then we will finish popping her back together and hopefully get her done here in the next hour ish so one thing you got to keep in mind a couple things is those these little things they fit they slide into that little notch into that little notch uh, getting these around I just had to go and lift up like that tab because it was wanting to roll under and that's it. So now at this point, it's pretty much just put it back together the way you took it off. And to save me some editing time, that's pretty much why I'll end the video. <laughs> and uh, so hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching and I appreciate it. If I run into anything else, I'll pop it in here before the end of the video and you won't know it because it'll suddenly be there. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up and uh, possibly a sub. See you guys in the next one. Okay, that was just the, the VOD recordings. All right, so these two are, these two. To fall in love, to fall in love, this when life begins. Good morning, Mr. Schlesie. Sup? Come back here to get car? Washington. Finally! Don't forget the skid plate, Jason. Um. The skid plate on the Subaru? I think it's back here. <laughs> if that's it. That's oh, not no, it. No, no, that's that's one of mine. Oh, oh okay, never mind. It's, it's one I told you, uh, we, we mentioned about months ago. Yep, hanging on my wall. What's up? Oh. Interesting. 
it's all very overly complicated. Don't you break it. <laughs> No more pins in me. No more no pins in me. I guess I can fit there. Kind of jumping ahead a little bit with that. Yep, an Audi in its natural territory. Inside of an automotive workshop. Oh man, I really don't want to pop these in right now. But that's what's left. that. Theoretically, I should be able to put all this together on the front because I don't need it to do the sides. I know these two go here. Ha ha ha, jokes. Why don't I like to work on big trucks, Jeffrey? <laughs> because I don't like big trucks. Too big. video. Actually, I think we're going to lose our ass on this customer because I didn't know there was a difference at the time between a car that has radiator shutters and one that doesn't. And the difference in labor time is probably like four hours. So if we quoted it, we probably quoted the non-shutter customer version. So it was like 2.5 maybe hours. And it's taken like six. So if anything, they are going to come out like a bandit and we're going to get screwed. Granted, I mean, we still make money, but not nearly as much as we need to. So I hope they appreciate it. And it happens. It just means the next time we ever have to do this, if I ever do, then make sure that be like, is there radiator shutters? Hell yeah, six hours. Uh, we're, I think at 125 an hour. We just had to raise our rates like, month or two ago 
welcome to everything that involves inflation. Everything else is getting expensive. We have to keep up. I won't forget the bumper screws. Got to make some TikToks today. Got to make some YouTube shorts today. We got plenty of things we can do. So that's these two. And then this fits on here like this. Those are clips. It looks like something goes right here, but I don't see what. Oh, it just sits on there. Never mind. I see it now. So this will sit on here like so. Yep. Don't ask dealerships what they charge, man. You'd be really sad. I've heard like some dealerships around here charge you $200 an hour. Because that's what we were looking into when we were checking our labor rate because we work on some high-end cars here Where are you going in there there's that where did I put all those clips I put them somewhere over up there. Can I reach them from here with the car this high? Not really. I'm short. Oh, shoot. Did that fall into the airbox? Oh, thankfully it did. mechanics can be dramatic you bring something to Eric and he's like this thing's about to blow apart oh my god we're all gonna die and you're like come on dude it's a little, it's a little rusty it's, it's just a little rusty it's all right we gonna make it I promise we gonna make it Whew. but then there's a fine line in the question that I really do have to ask which is the thing that a lot of customers complain about is Oh my god, they, they gave me an estimate for all this stuff. They're trying to rip me off. No, we're not trying to rip you off. We're just letting you know what your car has wrong with it. The things that we see. I mean, you could argue like, well, that's actually nothing. It's not really a problem. Okay, whatever. Fine. But we want to make sure that we CYA, cover our own ass. So that way when you leave, you're not like, what? They didn't tell me about that problem. Now you guys got to fix it. Hello, Savage. So it is very much CYA for us to uh, to overestimate things, if you will, because we want to make sure that we don't forget something and then you're driving down the road and suddenly your tire falls off and you're, you're like, you didn't tell me what wheel bearing was gonna fall off. Kinda did. <laughs> it's not my, I, I'm not saying you have to fix it. I'm just telling you it's going to fall off. You want to fix it? Great. If you don't, good luck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
it's held a vacuum for quite some time. I need to pick this car up and down some, so instead of charging it right now, we're just gonna go ahead and suck out the, or suck out, we're just gonna go ahead and take off the lines real quick so I can get this out of the way. But you wouldn't be su you would be surprised at how many times customers screw over mechanics. Uh, for instance, Toffee knows this one because he helped me find the uh, video. But we had a customer that we brought a car in, or they brought a car in, and they were like, "Y'all destroyed my headlights. Now they're all foggy and blah 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 blah." And I was like, no, we didn't. They were like that. I did an oil change. That's all I did to the car. I did an oil change and a check over. And they were like, you made my headlights all foggy and stuff. Because there was like condensation inside of it. I was like, there's no way. My boss was like, did, did you do that? I was like, no, it's dumb. And they're like, yeah, I understand. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Run back here. I was like, quick, we need to find a clip. And when I pulled this car in, or when I pulled that car in from earlier that day. Toffee went and found the clip and made a little clip of it real quick. And it just so happens that when I pulled that car in, you watch me pull from the door inside and I just pulled up right like this. And you could see all the moisture inside the headlight and stuff. I was like, tell them to stuff it. And if they want to fight about it, we got video. <laughs> they were just trying to get a set of headlights. because my boss is about to buy them headlights because she didn't have any other, like, like, what do I do at this point? I, I don't want to argue with them because they're just going to go up to social media and start dragging us there and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. We're not succumbing to these terrorists, basically. Hello. Uh, I don't have any knowledge, any special knowledge of Teslas or anything like that, unfortunately. I'd like to. up pretty well could be better but it does all right and then we got to make sure to plug the headlight tube in and that right there what I just did is why I go to the gym because I like to be able to crouch down do some work and then just stand back up and nothing hurts that's why I did squats this morning. Uh, any opinions on the cost of having a shop replace a pigtail connector? I don't know, whatever their labor time is, plus the part cost of the pigtail, it shouldn't be that much. I mean, they might charge like an hour, so it depends on how much that is, but I don't know how much, the problem is, is I don't, I don't quote jobs. I don't do anything like that. I just tell them what they need and then I take it up front and they do all that. They look up the labor times, they look up the parts and they add the markups and whatever. And that's all I know. I don't even know how much this job cost. Haven't a clue. <laughs> could be a thousand dollars, could be $10,000. I just know they said do it and I said, okay. And I make the wrenches turn. Kind of like my wife says, I just make the words go. Well, IPA, I get that. I get that, you know, I, okay, but as someone who knows something about cars and knows you have a shitbox truck 
I just want the tech to fix the thing I brought it in for. That's fine. But also, IPA, you should understand that when they look at it, they're going to give you a long list of things that is wrong with it. Like, oh, we see oil leaks, we see bad this, bad that, bad that. Yeah, that's fine. We're just, that's only for our benefit. Primarily for our benefit. To make sure that you know that we know what's wrong with it. And that we know we know what's wrong with it. It's not because we're trying to get oodles of money out of you. It's just because when you leave here, I want to make sure that you understand that all those things are wrong. Fix them or not, I don't care. It's just that we noticed them. Because there's plenty of customers that come in, they bring their car in for an oil change, and then they're driving down the road. They're like, ever since it was there for an oil change, it's been making this noise. No, that was a problem beforehand. Well, it's, 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 it's so you got to make sure you write down bad wheel bearings, bad this, bad that. Because they come in for maintenance, and then they leave, and they're like, oh, you did all this stuff to my car. I did nothing of the sort. Thank you. Oh, do I look like a body man to you? No, exactly. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. So much talking. I mean, we got security cameras, so. But they only take so close up a visual, if you will. Ideally, what would you want to do? Yeah, we'd want to do like security footage of each bay in case something falls or stuff like that. We once, once upon a time ago, we had a uh, uh, customer had their car here, etc. And Jason was working on it. I don't even know if it was his, the car he was working on, but there was a car that was in the shop and Jason managed to uh, bump one of the tripods and the tripod tipped and then it hit the car. And we fixed it, obviously but <coughs> we sent it up to the body shop they repainted the whole quarter panel and whatever but it was it was not cheap and for what it was here for it was not worth but that's just some of the sh that happens sometimes at least we didn't set a car on fire a six cylinder means a v12 no a six cylinder means a six cylinder. Six, six cylinders. A V12 would be a V12. What is you stuck on? You were stuck on, oh, I see. I really should take that one loose. <laughs> Dusty. Dusty. It would be a V6 or an inline six. It just depends on which kind of six it is. Excellent. 
there's all that BS. So that one goes here. Yeah. Yoink. There's bolts all over this damn thing. I don't want to put both chats on screen. That's asking for, that's asking for problems. IPA, <laughs> like, holy crap. I don't know if I want to let you Twitch chat go nuts while I'm not there. Um, thoughts, chat? So we're kind of debating some. I don't. Eh, this will work, whatever. Uh, because I know a lot of my viewers also like to discuss politics. I am not discussing politics at this time or anything of that nature. So don't get your don't get your panties in a wad. I'm just don't want to prevent you guys from discussing them if you really want to. So, my only statement would be, I, and this is what I want to put up to you guys. Do you want to be able to talk in chat about it? I'm not going to respond to it. I'm not going to mention it. Anything like that? Think it's a bad idea, Dave? Well, then go yell in Discord. How's that? So many bolts. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Bolt, bolt, bolt. <sighs> All right, then. That's fine with me. If you guys don't want to do that. That is perfectly fine. Forget I mentioned it. Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the automotive stream on Twitch. I've only been doing this for five years. Um, we have recently nixed all conversations of politics during the week. Sundays only. And that is a very obvious day, and I do it while I'm here at the shop, but very different feel. So if you don't like that, then by God, stay here. If you do like that and that's all you're worried about, then well, come back Sunday. Except not this Sunday, because I got to do. A little bit more. This is some of that stuff down there is a little loose because got to put the under tray on still. And you can see how dusty it is under there. I'm giving him a good show of my abs. Go, John, go. Jason need help rebuilding an axle. What happened? Shit didn't hold me out for nothing. I can't even get in the car. Don't drop it. All, all that was a fucking waste of time. Don't fuck with this thing. <laughs> I got a huge job that I messed up my base. 
you can put it you can put it in there put the axle in the just slide it on there stick it in there put them both down and back it out just make sure you torque that axle nut that's it and it'll move promise it'll move just all right it'll back out we can wait for an axle to get here and we can put it back and pull back in and do it later god jason's gonna have a fucking stroke he gets so irritable. Well, he's just generally a crabby gentleman. Um, if you are watching on the Twitch, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to hit that up. Go hit a like because I make content and I need people to help spread that content. And I, if you enjoy it, I would very much appreciate it. I love you. Long time. <sighs> Next body panel piece. There. Ah, look at that. Oh, it's easier if you squeeze it. There we go. Feels good. Huzzah. This time let's save ourselves some effort. So yes, I do also stream to YouTube as well as post lots of content over there. So if you like automotive content, definitely consider giving it a subscription. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish I had my phone so I could have recorded Jason having a tantrum. <laughs> I'm going to put this wheel well in. I, I'm really tempted to just turn the camera and <laughs> just watch Jason throwing shit. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to him. It's just funny though. He's having a bad day. He's having a bad day. Oh, shoot. I pushed that way too far up. Yeah. Come out. Ah, oh, there we go. So what are you guys doing this weekend? I'm gonna have a bit of free time myself, personally. Cause the fam, oh, fam's going out camping. So it's just gonna be me and the oldest son there at home and he's 17. So it's gonna be me by myself, effectively. And uh, I'm gonna work on the backyard a bunch. That's one thing that's definitely happening. Do you guys want me to stream that? I might do it just out of boredom. I need to get the battery pack out of my car so I can charge it and send it with them. Because I got... At least that one's charging and that one's charging. I'm out of cable, so I guess it's kind of moot if I did that. I would argue that many, many, many uh, mechanics are, how can I put this without being controversial? They are politically center right, more blue collar type thing. So they're probably a little irritated right now. 
So that that's all I'm going to say about that. If you want to discuss it more, join us on not this Sunday, <laughs> but the Sunday after this. It is a key in the background. Very, very keen observation, poor Mazda. Is that vape, bro? Yes, bro, it is, bro. Why do you vape, bro? Because I smoked for 12 years and now I'm vaping. And it's much better for my health. But it's still harmful, harmful. I don't really care. It's a lot better than smoking cigarettes, so that's all that really matters. do 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 Uh, Red April Dawn, exclamation point YT, and go look over there. If you want a quick, I have a quick, uh, quick comment that I think is going to sum up about everything I can very quickly. This is something that I mention to my wife a lot, or me and my wife discuss a lot. I, personally, have a problem with trying to fix everything. I mean, I do this all day. Literally my day job is fixing things, figuring out problems, finding solutions, and making them better. And trying my best. And so my wife will come to me and be like, ah, blah, 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 the dishes are going wrong, this is going wrong. And I'm sitting there racking my brain, trying to figure out what I can do to fix it. And so it was a few years in our relationship, maybe not even been that long ago. But there was a moment where she's like, look, I don't want you to fix everything. I just want you to listen to me complain about everything. I'm like, but I, I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> she's like, fine, but just you don't have to fix everything. Oh, so just sit here and listen? Yes, that's all I need you to do. Oh, OK. So I just nod and smile, pretty much. Awesome. because she would notice that I'd get stressed out when she would uh, sit there and complain about stuff. And it would be because I'm trying to think of a solution to fix it, and I can't think of one at the moment. And she's like, I don't need you to fix it. I just need you to listen. Oh, uh, okay. So gentlemen out there that do this kind of stuff all day, keep that in mind, I guess. Works out well. Good. Woo. This is insightful for a guy. Insulted. Was that six? Is that Noah trying to get in? Well, yeah, I understand that, Tom Paul. Oh, you're talking to somebody else. Wasn't sure if number two was loading up or if that was it. <laughs> I think that was it. 
Guess what, boys? We did squats today. <laughs> Remember, use proper technique when picking up your tires. Save your back. You only get one. Especially with these that don't have studs on there, what I do is keep a bolt loaded up in a socket so that way you can stock, stick it in there really easily and quick. And so... Oop! Bonk! There we go. Get that on there. Line it up. And then away we go. I can rebuild that. It'll be fine. Squats are for everyone. Woo, there's a cart behind me. Stop touching my butt. Exactly, Zom. Wonder what would work on our clients. Telling them you just need to listen. We got this. Calm down. What is that? Looks like vomit. Did a freaking cat come in here and throw up? I just thought about how to really describe it well. When you're going to lift up something, to make sure you use your legs properly. Yeah, I guess pretend like you're gonna sit down and take a poop. <laughs> eh. So that way it saves your back. Grab, contract, lift. Actually, you wanna contract before you go down I think but either or as long as you get it done let's see what are the torque specs for this these wheels what's wrong not the roll pen style. Yeah. So Ben just looked at it and he's like, I can take this end out and make it female. He would just be disassembling two axles. No, he would be dis disassembling the part of that axle, putting it back in the car, and then the, the new axle I get will just go into it. Right, after he disassembles the boot and then reboots it on that. Yeah. So why not, what's wrong with that one then? How what could he? Did? Yeah, what, what can't he fix about that one? It just needs they the boot. They can't find me the right boot. The right oh. shaped boot. And I mean, we've had to go through. There's something weird about this car in terms of. Like it's. The transmission. Like it's like a Integra transmission. Hmm. I'm not saying that it ain't mean, super, I'm just saying like. You mean like a, a maybe it's a WRX transmission instead of a. It's a weirder. It's a different transmission? Yeah. It doesn't, hey Dave, do you remember Subaru's, do you know where to find reboot kits for the Subaru's axles that have two male ends and not one female end and one male end, because it's not the roll pin style. Uh, 
Oh, I already looked up the torch deck. Although I am a sus on it because it says 160. And I'm a little worried that it's incorrect because these are 17s. Yeah, it's 160 here. Everything in life applies to Rick and Morty. I concur. Ah, oh. My gun's over here. Donkey, you still gotta go to the other place and make sure you like it and do all that other stuff because it's still there and I need your help. Hundred and sixty there. Oh good. Thank you, Donkey. I may have taken a tire or two on and off. Possibly. Who knows? <sighs> Go on. Perfect. Perfection. Do I have helium? No, I don't. None anywhere. I don't have any helium. We have oxygen and acetylene. That's all we got. That really likes the helium. Yes, it's very good. And then we can take it from those stupid habitatuses. Then we take it and have fun! Yeah. Right, Noah? Right? Exactly. Yeah. Noah knows what's up. Jesus, hey, fucking deep, man. What in the hell is happening? No more bigger than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No more, no more. Dink, 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 dink. I don't need ear balls. Come on, you hocus pocus mother trucker. It's a witch. And what do we do with witches? My precious, precious, my precious, super precious. I can't roll my R's though, that's the only problem. 
All he does with that kind of guttural version. I've got this little pile of bolts here, and I'm not sh sure what they go to. I know two of them go right here. But the rest, a little, little shady on off the top of my head. One goes here. When you was here. And then don't forget, Rob Schneider is a stapler. Oh, some of them go here. I got it. I thought these were all half turns. Thank you, Legendary Rob Boss. I appreciate it. That is very kind. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm not gonna hit anything. Cool. What? We're almost done. Huzzah! Look, I can reach these. Community in the sense that everybody's welcome here. There is no requirement that you have to believe a certain thing or be a certain thing to participate in learning how to fix your cars. No, not at all. There's no qualifications. I do not have any requirements to be my friend. And I consider all of you my friends. If I saw you on the street or stranded on the side of the road, I would stop to try and help you. Which I did for a nice couple on Wednesday because it wasn't raining yet. Couldn't get their Jeep started. The only bad part was there wasn't anything I could do. It had a bad crank sensor. Or it has a bad crank sensor. Or something of that nature. I don't know what it was. I obviously didn't have time to sit down and diagnose it properly. I was just like, can I help you guys? because they were trying to jump it off and it wasn't, it wasn't starting. And so I happened to have my scanner with me. So I scanned it and looked for a crank sensor code or any, any codes really. But uh, then it would still not start. I pulled the fuel line off, it had fuel. And I was like, so it's got fuel. Um, and I hooked up my scanner, I spun it over and I looked at the data and I was like, we well, are getting no crank signal, AKA 
It doesn't matter how many times you try and jump start this, it's not gonna start until it sees a crank signal. So, you kinda just need to get it towed to a shop. And they're like, well, thanks for helping. No problem, glad I could do what I could do. Sorry I couldn't do more. And they're like, well, at least you stopped. True. <laughs> All right, let's check these latches. Lock that. Lock that. And that will pull those. That unlatches those. Yes. Good, good. Now we just need this top cover. Everything is proceeding as planned. Beautiful. Dusty hands. I'm actually pretty disappointed at how few people stop for stuff. There's a story that we had, I don't remember. It was during COVID because people were, cops were wearing masks at that point. So yeah, um, so I think it was not, I think it was summer 2020, probably like August. I think it was around there. Anyway, um, me and my wife were going to the store and, you know, around here, most things were pretty back to normal. Like you, the shopping, everything's open, et cetera, et cetera. And we were driving down a main stretch of road that is like uh, traveled by probably 10, 20,000 people a day. And we were driving and my wife, I saw a dude laying on the ground in the, next to the bushes in front of a restaurant he was so restaurant parking lot bushes guy street okay that's and we were on the street and it's a three lanes each way like there's a lot of people going up and down here driving down the road and uh we passed him and my wife was like did that sign say help i was like i thought it did and so we turned around and uh, went into the parking lot and parked and hopped out. My wife went over there to, to talk to him a little bit because he seemed a little like edgy or something, but he was laying down. And uh, I, I called the police, I called the cops or whatever, because I was like, there's a dude here that probably needs some help. And uh, he's slurring his speech. He was talking about like trying to kill himself and talking about all this other stuff. And saying like his son got taken away or something like that anyway totally hammered out of his mind drunk as hell sunburned he was dehydrated you could tell because like he was just blistering and stuff like that and he had to have been laying out there for hours for hours and even after we were sitting there talking to him nobody nobody seemed to care nobody bothered to stop ask him anything to do it was just it was disappointing I was like, out of the thousands and thousands of people that passed this dude, nobody stopped to find out. Like, I mean, maybe he's doing fine. He's just like chilling there. And it's like, you stop and he's like, yeah, I'm fine. I just wanted to sit here. Okay, great. Have a good day. <laughs> but clearly that was not the case. So it is disappointing. Anyway, police came. He got, he got uh, 
taken away in an ambulance and went to the hospital. Uh, so, I don't remember what happened after that. We never got his name. I think we had his name, but we never got, like, I was hoping to get, like, his phone number or something, and so that way we could check up on him later and be like, you, uh, it's like two days. You, you good? You good? You need anything? Yeah, that was the other, like, we didn't walk up there with phones. We weren't like, oh, there's this dude sitting here. I'm going to help him. No, we just got out of the car and helped the dude. I hope he's doing good. I hope whatever it was that was going on, that he couldn't see this kid that's resolved. I was just, I was disappointed. I wanted to throw rocks at the passing cars, honestly. Because <laughs> they, they ticked me off. Because that wasn't like he was invisible. Well, you know what it takes to have my attitude sleazy? Changing your perception. What, you had of stuff to do? Okay. Do what? So you got nothing to do right this second. Yeah, this is a GoPro. What was that? You're waiting for something? What are you waiting for? Well, let's see. Appointments wise, you you already did the Q7, TPMS light, Honda Civic, oil change and alignment, no Honda Civic. Oh, that's one went to Eric. Mercedes Benz ML350, four tires in alignment. It's not up there. Um, XC90 oil change. What about? Uh, this. 2018 Passat R line you could do. It's just an oil change. It's under my schedule, but. I think we did do that one yesterday. Just the red one. So that's gone. And I don't know if the A5, did you get the A5 in yet? I think it's here. If you want to go grab that A5 and pull it in, it's service in the under tray bolt stripped. I can see if, if you need help with anything, obviously I'll help you. All right, what was it, nine? I know it was, it was 950 grams, which is like 2.09 pounds. What the hell are you? Oh. Hey, Jason, I have a question. No. Is it rusty? It's got a little bit of rust, so yeah. So it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, charge two pounds because it's 2.09 is what the proper side is. Inject oil, yes. Let's inject a touch of oil because we already injected some oil the last time we did this. Good. Stop. Go. It'll do its thing. And then it'll beep at me. Well, you never know who needs help, unless you ask. Everything might look good, but it's, it's also in our manly nature to not need help, or not want help. How's that? I'm the worst about it. I'm definitely a very bad offender on that, that unless I'm literally dying, I'm not gonna, even then I probably wouldn't ask. I'd be like, I'm fine. Oh, I'm good. 
I'm good. I'm just dragging my broken leg and holding my guts in. We're good. We can make it. I don't know if that would actually happen, but... My gut instinct is that I'd be like, nope, cool. Yes, Dave, that's why you gotta be careful with it. However, I will qualify. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I need to do this before I go and get in their car to start it to make sure the AC works. Is that's just your call. Do they really need help or are they just whining, if you will? And I would argue that I, I don't like how society has turned into this gimme 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 society instead of how can I help society it's it, not everybody but it definitely seems it feels different I wish we could get back to the how can I help society Taking your sweet time charging. I don't know. I don't know what to do to fix that, though. Whoop, whoop. Still charging. If you guys haven't already, head on over to the YouTube link. Give it a nice little thumbs up. It helps me out greatly and costs you nothing. So it's just that easy if you're not already subscribed to the channel then that would be nice too. And of course, tell your friends. You know the drill. Woohoo! Some people did. Hi, Heretic. I think we can get more people over there on the YouTubes too. Why, thank you, Dark Shoal. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, did you hear my knee crack when I bent down? Let me get a flashlight. I want to check for any leaks real quick while we're waiting. That looks good. I'll be damned if I can see the other side of it though. The connection. It's hidden behind plastic. So much plastic on these darn things. You'll be dead. Is that Bernie? What's Bernie? No, I would not like to equalize the hoses. All right, here's a big old test. Hopefully nothing blows up on the face. Where's the button? There it is. Nothing exploded thus far. That sounds good.
airbag lights on, I'm gonna have to clear some codes. Inevitably. <laughs> Please, I love it. Awesome. Air conditioning is working. Anything pouring out the bottom? Nope. We're just gonna have to clear some codes from when I pulled out the airbag connectors. I don't know why, maybe I missed one? I know I got those two. Those are the only two airbag connectors I could I had to mess with. Oh well, we'll scan it and find out what's pissed off. But, air conditioning's running well. Um, we got good pressures. It's nice and brisk in there. It's a it's cool outside, so your AC pressures aren't going to be too extreme. We got 35 on the low side and 125 on the high side. But it's also like 68 degrees in here, so it's not like you're if you were running 100 degree weather, the pressures would be higher because it's hotter. You know the drill. If you don't know the drill, that's the case. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Turn that down some, turn this off the bottom, and then we can go ahead and turn it off. Disconnect our AC lines. There's one. Two. It's gonna suck out the remaining. Put our caps on. I don't like where these are located, but whatever. I guess they're all right. They could be worse. And we tuck this back in here. Only the cool kids go and hang out on YouTube. Only the coolest. Cool. Let's make sure this all lines up. I didn't remove the latches, so these shouldn't have an issue. That weren't they weren't a part of the they weren't a part of the front end system. Good. Ta-da! 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 Boom, 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 boom. What you doing? Oh, checking the air filter? Take that boot off. Nah, I'll just take the boot off. It's seven millimeter. I already got the boot off. Or, I already got it out. I this? Just, air filter. I already checked it. I just oh. Just one torch to the oh, just pull the boot off and push it. You I can hold it back. Oh my God. You're doing it the hardest way possible. Granted, I do that crap all the time, so I don't really have much to say. It was what? Absolutely. It's always easier when you're taking it off. Unless you're intending to put it back together, then it might not be. I need you guys. Exactly, Notorious. But yes, I'm very much trying to build up the YouTube side of things because that passive income is something that I could really, really use from that. And so the more people that go over there and help algorithm that thing up is better. Select. Well, I thank you, Notorious Neil. Airbags. Let's make sure there's nothing super mad.
cool, both intermittent. Excellent. There's that. Check the engine. Hello, mister. Yeah, we had an active radiator shutter code. Intermittent stuck open. It's not. It was unplugged. Um... Mm -hmm. I guess we'll check the auto HVAC. Might have a code for low pressure. High pressure sensor, amplitude too low, intermittent. Bum ba bum. Central electric. <laughs> like I say, algorithm it up. I mean, now we're thanks to Twitch, Twitter. Not really Twitch. Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. Algorithm has become a verb. What you doing? Oh, we're gonna algorithm it up. You're gonna what? Algorithm it up. We gotta pump up the numbers. <laughs> I'm just gonna do an auto scan. Gateway installation list. How much crap we got with codes in it from stuff I've unplugged? No, oh, not that much. It's only four. Auto distribution, what's the code there? Just data bus, that's probably just a stupid regular code it has all the time. Lane change, that might be a little affected because we pulled off some sensors. Nope, data bus received error message. Fault, slave, intermittent, whatever. It's cool. You know, there's one lovely thing that I like about being a mechanic is that in the society in which words are very subject to people being upset. I can say a lot of those words because they're necessary car terminology. Like retarded, for instance. Granted, that's not a problem on Twitch, but, um, cause timing is advanced or retarded, uh, which means it's either advanced or it's behind. And then of course, the short version of transmission is something that is often said here just because we need to pull one out, we need to get the jack for it, whatever, we need to fill it up. None of that, of course, being in a mean way. So that's what's nice. It just it kind of highlights some of the problems, if you ask me, of where language is getting Silly. I don't know if this is considered political or not, but I, I do not agree with any censorship of speech, period. Done, end of story. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's the, that's the tweet. I believe that you have the right to say whatever you want with your mouth because you're alive. Um, gotta go fix treadmills with gym bunnies. There's a lot of gym bunnies in the gym this morning. I couldn't complain. Especially the ones that were in the squat rat next to me. I mean, hey, what am I supposed to do? You're wearing a bikini top and a, practically a thong for a shorts or bottom covers, I, 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 I you try to avert your eyes as best you can, but you know it doesn't last. Ten forty one. Look at that. It's not that easy, sleazy. We'll have to get to this, get in on this on a Sunday, but oh, they do.
things are cold. All right. I guess at this point it's time to go drive it and hope nothing falls off. Let me just poke my head under here real quick. Make sure I don't see anything that is concerning. Again, I done checked the under tray about 50 times. I would say we are good. We are good. So I'm just gonna run this up and down the road real quick because I don't need to do a very long road test. I know the AC works, which it didn't before. Now it does. So the problem that they came in for is fixed. I'm just gonna run it up and down the road and go over my speed bumps real quick, make sure nothing sounds loose like it could have happened when I was repairing it. But generally it doesn't have to go on a really long test drive just because I'll hold the camera. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the first time you're, you've air hammered something? Really? Man, this might need to be a short. Or a TikTok. <laughs> we'll, we'll just go with it for uh, on here for a minute. I want to see your reaction to the, the first time you're air hammering something. First time air hammering something. You want to go, you're, yeah, that's loosening it. Cool. Look at that. That was the easiest thing. That was the easiest thing ever. <laughs> Air hammers are great. I like that. How long did you spend beating on it with the hammer? Uh, I think it's like three, four minutes straight. Three, four minutes straight. And then I got put up to the chin and just kept sliding off after it. Yep, but this thing lives under here, so if you ever need it, just come get it. Now we throw it away. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome. Um, now this is what I'm working on, which is not that. Stick a pick tool in there and dig out the dirt. Um, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. This is a beetle. Beat. This one. That's not our beetle. So this is a. We don't know. Let me get the license plate so I make sure we get the right car in there. Turned into a really nice day outside. Sunny, warmish. MQC. Two thousand eight Volkswagen Beetle S. Excellent, excellent. So it's a five cylinder. Uh, 
do 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 hello that the complaints are headlight not working customers change the bulb cigarette lighter does not work windshield wipers stop white windshield wipers stopped working come back on its own after cutting off Ah, fuse is very likely or possible. Hello, 12th man Sam. I haven't popped the hood. So first off, let's confirm the complaints. Turn the key on. This one doesn't work. Cool. He says he's changed the bulb. This one does work. These are terrible headlight setups. I'll explain it once I get into it. Let's check the wipers. Oh yeah, they're not functioning at all. But the spray works, so it thinks the wipers work. The turn signals. Does the high beam work on this? Neither ones. Cool. Cool, cool. And the cigarette letter. Oh, wow, this is kind of a creepy little doll. I don't really want to touch it. Ooh. I, they didn't specify which one, because there's two. Also, does this have a light on it? It does. Nope. Awesome. I popped the hood yet? Yeah, I did. I did not. Cool. We got some starting points. So we confirmed the wipers don't want to work. The headlights don't work. Or this headlight doesn't work. So let's go for some obvious things. Hmm? Some obvious things. I don't know what these might share between them. Because they might share some power sources or things like that. But this is one of my favorite kinds of repairs. Something different. Something different. Not just taking things apart and putting them back together. It's figuring out what's wrong. So if you enjoy this stuff, stick around. We're gonna figure it out. One way or the other. No! Oh. Yeah. Yes, they do. I just want to get it up to a working level. You could probably do all this on the ground, but. All right, let's do a little bit of a visual inspection here upon which we wish to figure out. Switch back over to my other battery. I love this flashlight, but I hate how fickle it is. There. All right. So. Let's see. Well, this is a new fuse box. They don't have it, not the right fuse box either. They don't have it installed correctly. Yeah, look, well, maybe it's supposed to be the right fuse box, but it's not set in there right. What in the devil? But anyway, that's neither here nor there at this moment. Um, the headlight. I bet you we can get this headlight to work if I push back. This is the power. That's the power right there. I can't yeah, get my hand out of the way. Um, I'm trying to get this thing. There we go. See that orange down there? 
that's the connector right there and I need that to push into the headlight this is easier to see see the wires going into the headlight there even though those are all terrible and somebody's disassembled that and broken it out of its hole that's why this one works even though this headlight I bet you I can pop out So let's test that. I believe what we will have on the headlight is a connection issue. And so if I turn the headlights on and then take this hair old screwdriver and push the connector deeper into the headlight, it will function. Let's find out. Unless it blew a fuse. Maybe they were messing with it. Oh, well, would you look at that? Isn't that interesting? I hate these headlights because they're terrible for that. The headlight, turning the high beam flash to pass works, but turning on the high beams doesn't. Question is, what can I do to make that a permanent fix? Because the problem they're going to have now is anytime that you go down the road, and they hit bump, it might come out like that. And then you gotta push it back in, and then it goes out, and then they can't push it in anymore. So what we're gonna have to do is take that headlight out and find out what exactly is the issue which isn't very difficult. I mean, new car isn't necessarily wrong. Uh, let's see. Oh, five. That's what I came over here for. I'm like, what am I doing over here? Hit the lock. Oh, nice. I like it. Looks good. Looks good. All right, there's a few little adjustments we can try to do. We can try and move the assembly forward a touch. Because what happens is, in this headlight, that's the socket. Here's the lock, here's the emergency clip. This headlight slides into here and then plugs into this by just backing up into that. The problem is the headlight doesn't fit in here very good, as you could maybe have noticed. So when this thing goes up there to try and lock it in, it doesn't do a good job. Um, does it still have the tab on the bottom of the headlight? It does. So all I can really do is maybe loosen up this, this, and that slightly and try and pull this whole assembly a little bit forward. So that way hopefully the headlight doesn't have to be as deep in there to, to connect. So now we're gonna give that a shot. Duct tape. No, unfortunately duct tape is not really accessible in that corner. That corner really sucks. So if I do that. There, just move the whole assembly significantly further forward. We'll see what that does for us.
I wonder if they took out the headlight when they changed the bulb. Now let's see if this gets a better connection. Hey, look at that. That's because the whole headlight's coming out at that point. But I can push it back and it fits. So let's see if we can't tighten this up. Success. There's not really anything to grab. Victory or death. Victory or death. That is why I prefer victory, because I don't want to die. Cool. That's that. So, we'll write on the ticket. Uh, headlight. Assembly adjusted on the driver's side. Headlight assembly. Mm. What, what up? Oh. What? Oh, it'll get trash in it. There it goes. The oil's not going down. So you plug it back up and so you don't drain it, overfill the top. <laughs> yep, so when it drains down, you just want to like look on the, because there's a little grate in there. And uh, you just find out what it what it is that is stuck in there and keeping it stuck up. But pretty much just take a screwdriver, dig around in there. You'll find the grate and just try and move crap. You know, it's like finding the clogged drain if, in your sink. Yo. Happy Friday, Mr. Dave. You fire up another super engine job today? Set valve lash, cover the rear main, and I'm ready to install. Nice. Set valve lash, valve covers, rear main. Nice. Excellent. All right, so with the cigarette lighters or the 12 volt power, um, I'm gonna check the fuse diagram, find out what fuse it is and we'll have a look. And then before we put that fuse in there, we will stick our nose in there and make sure, stick our eyeballs in there to make sure that there's not a penny or a quarter or something stuck down in there that's shorting it out. Uh, the last time, not the last time, but there was a time that I was like, oh, it's definitely a blown fuse. Quick, get a fuse, put it in, pop. No, what happened? I guess I should look in it and find out what happened. Yeah, there was just a penny sitting at the bottom shorting the whole thing out. So check it before you fix it and make sure you don't have a problem. Oh, I can finally turn off all those stupid repairs I had open. Oh God, this is gonna be one of those. I hate split years, split VINs, split blah, blah, blah. One YX. Let's see, power and ground distribution, fuse. 
Yep, that's the fuse box, thanks, but I want to know what's there. Tells me where the fuse box is, doesn't tell me what they are. Tells me how to take it out. that one fuses s instrument panel left thanks i know that from july 2005 all right outside mirror relay uh driver's heated seats from pasture heated seats blah blah, blah. fog lamp fresh air blower Brake pedal switch, climatronic, yada, yada, yada. It's probably going to be... Headlights, headlamps, blah, blah, blah. Aha. S27. Rear fog lamp fuse from July 07. It got blocking diodes from model year 2007. It's got 12 volt socket, 12 volt socket. So, it looks like a reasonable one to check. It's, it powers two 12 volt sockets. So let's get our, our little low test light. Oop, I just put it away. There it is. Let's get our testicle, testicle light. One, let's check that it works. I tend to like to hook it up to the battery out here because the ground points inside the car are kind of, they're kind of crappy. So of course, before you use your tools, you always make sure it works. If you're using electrical diagnostic tools. And then unfortunately it's hard to get the, the cart back there because of where it is, so, or the camera back here, so I'm gonna pop this fuse cover off and look for fuse 27 and hopefully we can find it pretty quick let's see 27 is according to the diagram one two three four oh look it also holds the wipers it seems one two three four blown as junk 20 amp fuse. Schmoked. She schmoked. But that's for the wipers. But it also says it's for the 12 volt sockets. She schmoked. I wonder if the wipers is killing it or if it's the. We'll find out. Schmoked. Now you can see that blown hole right there. Right there. See it? Why, hello. Let me go. Ooh, get another fuse. One minute. Ah, oh, my clock's on. Yay. Still works. All right. Eric Gaming? Why am I not doing what? All right, is this gonna pop immediately? Because I already looked. I don't see anything in these as I stick my finger down in there. Um, let's see if this pops immediately. Nope, not super immediately. What about when I turn the key on? Hadn't blown yet. 
Off to a good start. Might not turn the wipers on because the hood's up. That's a common safety feature of the wipers. I want to check the 12 volt outlets though. Make sure those work. And then I also want to see the headlight or the washer wipers work. Wiper? Nope, those still don't work. But the pump still does. So that's the thing. Let's check the, these 12 volt outlets. still good yep fuse is still good also confirms that I have a reasonable uh, reasonable setup here with my ground but I need to get closer to it and more yep got bless it okay cool I didn't short it I thought I blew the fuse yeah that one works I think they're uh, the charger here is dead. It's got a little LED on it, but it doesn't work. Because, oh, it, it's freaking broke, man. The charger's broke. I'm just trying to check these. Yep. Both 12 volt sockets work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that's that part. I accidentally touched the side of the socket while I was trying to probe it. That's why I was swearing. Now, wipers. Wipers are yet another one. I don't know why I'm walking away with the key. Is there a wiper fuse? Well, good. Watch it on both. If you guys are very much wishing to support the stream, I cannot express how much and how important this is that you check out. Wait, did I? Okay, cool. I didn't hit any extra letters. Check both and go uh, give me some thumbs up. It'd be super good. Super good. I don't remember hitting record. All right. Let's look at wipers, wipers, wipers. <laughs> ah, windshield wipers, S24. Windshield wiper washer switch. Fuse 24. Oh, absolutely. Wait, that one should be good, because it's where I started with that one. Didn't I? Yeah, it's got power, so our wiper circuit is good. Now it gets more interesting. So, we've checked off some things. One, headlight fixed, cigarette lighters fixed, wipers is where we're on. wiring diagram, aren't we? <laughs> Let me write down the, the things we have thus far. So, fuse number 27 was blown, that was replaced, and the 12 volt sockets work. It Here's the car adapter USB plug is broken. I wrote it, a pairs, a peers. Whether you're a pair or a peer, 
You're still here. Who buying? What? I said, are we buying or is Ken buying? Oh, um. Yeah. <laughs> the shop buying from Chick-fil-A? Uh, he didn't want to influence your decision. He didn't want to influence your decision. I guess two chicken sandwiches, no pickle. That's it. Are we going to get like a gallon of sweet tea or something? Don't hurt yourself, man. Hot. Oh gosh, he just a second ago. <laughs> you just took the torch off of it and then you touched it and said, ow. I am allergic to cucumbers. Very allergic to cucumbers. Which means pickles. Pickle, 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 pickle. Just chicken sandwich. Thank you guys for going over to YouTube. It makes my makes my heart swell with success and helpfulness. Um, right, I was looking for something. Oh, right, wiper wiper uh, diagram. Uh, vehicle. Let's do interactive non OE windshield washer wiper system windshield washers. Oh, it's only one page. How easy. Let's bring it up on screen for y'all so you can see what I'm looking at. Windshield wiper washer system. Bingo, bango. All right, so here's the switch right here. It controls all that stuff. Windshield wiper washer fluid pump. We know that actually works because when we hit the, we could hear the pump pump. We don't have a headlight washer because it doesn't, do we? No, we don't. Am I sitting on it? No, um, no headlight washers. So, what? Load reduction relay is possible, but it seems unlikely. Because I think that powers more than just this, but maybe. Where's the wiper motor? Wiper motor, wiper motor, wiper motor. Here's the wiper motor. Where does it get its junk from? It gets it all from the intermittent wiper washer or intermittent relay, which is in the 13 position auxiliary relay panel behind the left side of the dash and right into the relay panel. <sighs> so we could have a bad relay. Um, we got the loader. That's all. Oh, okay. This whole thing is built into the, I bet you this whole thing is built into the relay. Maybe. Um, Convertible, beside steering column, right washer nozzle, fuse, one fuse, rain sensor, light switch. So, here's the question. We got two options. We can either go here, or we can go here. Which one's gonna be easier? Because if we go here, and we don't have any power, on something that's a ground that's probably a pretty high powered power where does that go and that goes to the relay then we could make an assumption that the relay is probably not okay and then we'd have to get to the relay if we get to the relay best we can check i guess with this particular wiper washer washer relays i don't have a test it's got so many freaking wires to it, it's a little weird. Um, best bet's probably just get the wipers first. Go directly to the wipers. See if you got power on any of these. I think quite possibly, maybe. My uh, my youngest son's gonna be sad. And be like, what'd you have for lunch today, Dad? Oh, I had Chick Fil A. No, I wanted Chick Fil A. I know, I know. Um, any fuses interact with this to speak of?
Let's see, if we have a fuse here and fuse 24, I think we already checked that, didn't we? Fuse 33 does power that relay. So let's check fuse 33 and 24 again. Let's just make sure we get all of our ducks in a row. Let's go find fuse 33 before we get too excited and then find out it's something stupid. Because it wouldn't be the first time I've chased my tail for an hour and a half and then been like, oh, it was that. How awesome. It was just the fuse was bad. 33 is one, two. Oh, it's not there. Well, that's always great. Did they put a fuse out somewhere and then put it back somewhere? I don't believe them. I'm just checking the rest of these fuses down here real quick just to make sure. Did it say what kind of amperage fuse it was? They were working one day and then they just stopped. They stopped after you pulled out the fuse? No. You sure? Maybe. Ah! Catastrophes. Thank you for stopping dinging. That was very appreciative of you. Cover fell. Let's see. Fuse 20 amp. Two 20 amps and one. One amp. No, one 10 amp. So let me go get another 20 amp fuse. And put it in position 23 and see if anything happens. Because at the moment, there's no fuse there. Hold on. Interesting. Where it comes to replacing those bolts, if you got enough, you can just like put, you can just put like one there and one there. Um, but the best idea would be take those, go get some new bolts that are the same thread pitch and size, and just get a hex bolts. They don't have to be that. Nothing special about those. All right. Position 23. I feel like a gopher. I'm sitting back there popping up and out of the door. So fuse 23. Or sorry, I said 33, not 23. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, and 3. Oh, there is nothing there. Fantastic. That's why there's no fuse there, because there's no, there's no connectors there. So there is none in fuse 23. In, that's the headlight washer system. It's really odd though. I hear the relay clicking. It doesn't mean it's good, but I hear it clicking. Is there any other wiper? Does not appear to be. Does not appear to be at this particular junction. So I think we are good on the fuses. Now that it's been a minute, let's turn. Yeah, if I pull down on the wipers, I hear click. So that, and I heard just turn, I just heard it turn off. So I would, again, this is a bit of a guess. I'm just taking an educated guess that I think the relay's working okay. I think. So I think it's worth us getting down to the wiper motor itself and trying to probe the wires there to make sure we're getting signals. Ooh. It's not 
easy. I gotta pull the wipers out. I think. I gotta pull the wipers off, rather. And if you've ever had to take wiper blades off of anything, you know it's just kind of a pain. It's not hard, it's just annoying. Because it's all under the cowling here. And judging from the amount of leaves under there, I have a feeling there might also be other things under there. What is the most expensive car I've fixed? <laughs> All right, let's get these wipers off. Trash, trash, trash. I would record this, but at this point I'm so backed up on videos, I don't even know if it would be good for me because it's like, oh my God, there's so many videos. Yep, yep, Q7's done, it's out front. Finished it up this morning. Um, I guess I'll just put you right here for now, eh? So, get these little covers off. Or go go say hello to the windshield, I don't care. That didn't work. There's nowhere to hook. Yeah, there's somewhere to hook. Right here. Perfect. All right, so I gotta pick these stupid things off, which is always just a pain because there's no like access hole. So it involves some stabbing of thine self. All right, there's one cover. Ow. I should change the title on the YouTube stream though. That's what I need to do. I need to update it to reflect what we are currently working on. Uh, it doesn't typically, McKay. It doesn't typically. Because right now, Sunday still beats out today. Oops, wrong thing. Aw, snap. I know. Believe me, we've we've done both. We've tried both, but hopefully this time it'll work. I don't know, maybe it's because I took like a month off of Twitch, pretty much. And people are like, what happened? Where'd he go? What's going on? Oh. Everybody just got a nice little break. We come back, new rules, new game, let's go. But also, I've had a bunch more new viewers in lately, so that's not bad. All right. Ah, oh, this is the worst damn part. Just trying to get these things loose. I have a tool for this, which doesn't make it any better. It tries, but it's not that great, honestly. Could be better if you ask me. But there is just no good way of getting these stupid wiper blades off. This is a tool, it basically is just a little press. It's just a tiny press. And so you stick it on the wiper blade shaft, you put it on here, you tighten it, you wiggle. Honestly, what I try to do, which this is like super sketch, so. covering the windshield with my hand. I would much rather hit my hand. Let's get this a little bit more centered.
Let's try hitting the side of it a little bit. Tiny hammer. This is the tiniest hammer I have, and it's not exactly straight. She's a little, she's a little lopsided. Hmm. 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 I think we gotta move a little bit. None of this is fun. It's very stressful. Let go, you stupid jerk. <sighs> ah, finally. <sighs> ah, what a pain in the rear end. One more. Now you see why I didn't want to get to the wiper blades off the bat. <laughs> like it's just, oh yeah, everybody's in chat right now. Everybody everywhere is sitting there waiting, just waiting. They're like, when is that windshield gonna explode? When's it gonna miss? When's it gonna miss? I've got such a supportive crew of people watching me. That we got without having to hit it. Whoop, whoop. Thank God. Yeah, at least it'd be on Boss Man's tab, but <laughs> it's not a, not ideal. I don't want to cost money if I don't need to. When messing with wiper blades and all that stuff, be very very careful around the window. I cannot express how careful around the window you must be. Super duper pooper careful. So now you all done? Swag. Well, 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 well. Why, were you looking for a tree? Because I have found a tree. There is a tree for me in here. Where are the wires?
Good lord. the motor buried in leaves. You know what? It's not that bad to get this whole piece out, I think. I don't think it's bad at all. Because then we can take out the whole motor system. The only problem is we got to make sure we don't unclock it or something. Hmm. I'm trying to find the wires. There they are. Yeah, we're gonna have to disconnect. We're gonna have to take the whole wiper system out. And I should probably vacuum up some of these leaves before I get them in places they don't need to be. So let's get some. Let's get our suck game on. Let's see how this works for cleaning this off. Max suck. Now we turn it from suck to blow. Vacuum some more once we get the assembly out. Sir, she's gone from suck to blow. Exactly. <sighs> Two tens, three tens. As far as I know, that is it. Let's try that. Three t -t -t tens. Uno. Doso. Trace. -o. Trace. Or trees, which is what this car is full of. Tree. Haha. -ha. Grips. So it should be three bolts that get this assembly out. And then we can find out what's going on up here. Why, what's going on up here? Hmm? Ha 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 
how do you know if your car needs a new clutch plate? If you can put it, a really quick clutch test is put it in first, start accelerating, you know, everything's going fine. You go up to about 15, 20 miles an hour, put it in fourth, let out the clutch, push on the gas. If it goes, then your clutch is shot because it's barely holding on and you'll probably blow it the rest of the way up. But hey, it's a test. It's slipping at that point. Anybody else have a better clutch test? A Wolfenhagen. Hey, taters. All the cool kids hang out on YouTube, man. Mmm, not necessarily uphill. And I wouldn't necessarily do full throttle, even if you have a good clutch, you might stress it out. It's like, it's like you want to, you want to put the clutch under stress, but you don't want to like try and make it blow out. So that's why it's like pick a gear that's higher than what you're in and give it a little bit more gas where you know you'll be lugging the engine. So if it like, you know, I go to first, I go to second and uh, you know, everything's cruising along. I put it in fifth and then like, give it some gas and it's like, uh, if it doesn't go anywhere, it's because you're lugging the engine and your clutch is doing okay. But if it just revs up, then your clutch isn't doing okay. This Nito Belit Bito. Bandito. Oh, the white. The... Come on. Don't make me. I'm hot hooked on the wire. The wire is very tight, if you will. Does that just unplug? Oh. All right. We got a lot of, well, we got a red and a white wire. Or, pff, I'm really colorblind. I have a red and a green wire. I could probably just take my power probe and hook it up to that, activate it, and see if this thing runs. Ground one side or the other, whether it spins forwards or backwards. However, the other option we can do is come right over here and we can front probe these because we got green, yellow, green, black, green, maybe just green and pink. And make sure we get some, some things out of them. No, I turned it off. Honestly, it's kind of depressing, so I just figured I could turn it off. Why do I need to see it? I don't. If you want to sub to my channel, then sub to my channel, whether it be a member on YouTube or as a uh, subscriber on Twitch. If you want to support the channel, then by God, please do. I will not complain. Hey, Noah, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, go turn the key on and turn on these wipers and see? Because I want to see if I'm getting power to the wiper motor. Ready? Yep. Just pull it up. Yeah, they're on. Oh, I had something. Okay, we got power here. 
You can turn the key off. We have some power. So now the question is, if I power this, will it work? No participation trophies. No participation trophies. Honestly, the reason you want to be in both chats is because you want to be able to keep up with the questions of all of them. That's why you want to be in both. So that way if somebody asks a question in one, you're not like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Maximum content. <laughs> Why, thank you. And I know. I've only been doing this stream for five years. <laughs> On Twitch specifically, for five years, I have been doing this stream. I took the past month off to, uh, I don't know, think about my life. Decide how much I hate Twitch. <laughs> I guess we'll go with green. Oh, it works. Yeah, motor works. That's good. Sounds quiet. Doesn't sound. <laughs> doesn't sound awful. Check for ground. Ground. Grand. Nothing. Nothing. Now let's go turn on some whippers. Although there is a mouse nest. Ooh, is that a mouse nest? Hello? Anybody home? I don't see anybody. You down there? Mm -hmm. Good sir. I would like to talk to you about your cause extended warranty. Or your home's extended warranty. God, there's leaves all up in there. Jesus. Boop. Turn it all the way up, turn it all the way up. This should make him go maximum throttle. These wipers should be ready to fly off the shelves. Ground. That's got voltage, not good voltage. Nothing. Ground. Ground. Got 11 volts on that. Well, let's plug it back in and see what happens. Is this going to be one of those unplug it and replug it fixes? Can't plug it in with the armature. And it being on, that would be a quick way to get my fingers crushed. Crushed, I tell you, crushed. Uh, let me clean up under there some more with the vacuum before I put all this crap back in. We're going to get much suck. <laughs> so, if you would love to... Such sexy, much satisfying. Much satisfying. Yoink. I wonder if I could have shorted out the contacts because those contacts on the back here are very exposed. And with, honestly, with this much trash in here and it being wet, it is quite possible in my opinion 
that you could very well have gotten some of those leaves could be wet and touching both of these at the same time and just shorting it out. Please be off key. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to lose a finger. Don't want to lose a finger. Wait, were those it? Which bolts did I take out for what? Those are the ones for that. What, Notorious Neil, what is the, YouTube would implement the option for audio only like you can with Rich? Oh, Twitch? Oh, Twitch can do audio only? Or can you do that on YouTube? I assume you meant Twitch. Can do audio only, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh, buddy. You all right? Noah trying to hurt himself. Noah's always trying to hurt himself. It's what it is to be young and 20 something. How many of you guys would love to be 20 again? Mm. So there was a serious question of if you could, I mean, it's always those, what if you could, you know, if you could be 20 years old again, but with all the knowledge you have today, However, there's a qualifier there. And I think it would be, you don't get to know the future. Matt Cove! But yes, definitely consider. All right, now let's see. Does this little armature turn when I do the wipers this time? Yep, works fine. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Wipers wiping, yo. What about a little wipe? Little wipe, one wipe, go. Spray wipe, go. Two. Three, up, oh yeah. I think she was shorted out on all that crap under there. Either that or it was a bad connection. Look at us, we're so good! So, working great right now. Doesn't smell like burning motor. Our wipers are just wiping away. Wipe, 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 wipe. Yeah, I would go with it. This was so packed with crap, leaves and debris, that when it finally rained, the rain got up there and shorted out those wires. Get in there nice and deep. Yeah, nice and deep. Did I not paste? The, I didn't post the new. Oh, my bad, uh, root beer. I didn't post the actual YouTube notification, um, which I'll do it after lunch because once we eat lunch, we're gonna break the stream on YouTube. So we'll all like migrate to Twitch for an hour while I eat lunch, and then we'll go back to YouTube. Sup, sunshine? Oh, you have it. You actually have it this time. Yay, my beautiful little eight. Hmm. Good, how are you? Doing okay? You're very quiet. It's a fancy beard, are you going for Santa beard before Christmas? No, it's just, I just haven't cut it. I got my hair cut or nothing. You've it's just been playing hobo? Month, so. Been sick for like a month? Yeah, I got like some kind of sinus infection. It's not COVID, I've been tested like several It's not COVID, he's been tested like several hundred times. I even had a blood test. 
Even had a blood test. They find the antibodies? Nope. Did they look for them? Yep. Nah. So, sinus infections and colds do exist still. Yep. Now I get to complete my set. Wait, I got to share this with chat because it's been bugging me for a while. Because I got a slack ass Matco guy. Look, ready? Ready? Look at this. See this incomplete set right there? Perfection. And it wasn't a 10, it was an 8. I'm probably not going to shave it, but let's be honest. See how long I can let it grow. How long you can let it grow? Uh, the fuse wasn't missing, Waukesha. It was that 23 fuse is for. It's just not there. So you're no longer on Twitch? No, I'm on both right now. That's why there's two chats. Which one do you like better, YouTube or Twitch? I like YouTube better, but I mean, I get now, plenty of viewers on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, you get subscribers, which the equivalent on Twitch are followers. Right. And then on YouTube, you can get members, which the equivalent on Twitch is subscribers. So it's all confusing. Both. Hmm? You can get paid for both. Yes. I get paid for both. Uh, you got to be affiliate on Twitch to get paid if you get subs. And on YouTube, I'm not really sure. I've just been like a partner, or a monet I have my YouTube monetizable for God knows how long, and I forgot what I had to do to do it. I also don't know if the requirements have changed since. Because back in the day, it was like you had to have something like 1,000 subs or yeah, 500 subs. Crazy, and then like 10,000 views or something like that. But now I think it's just like you need 10,000 views and that's it. I also get paid for ads. Well, that's part of the monetization process. You gotta, you gotta have, uh, you need 1,000 subs to monetize on YouTube? Okay. It's not a small number, but it's not a giant number either. So it's definitely achievable if you put some time into it. Yep, did you see that the... Uh, to talk politics on nope, the chat but did you see that the uh, gentleman who went viral with his uh, the ex-Marine who oh, beat the crap out of it? Did you, see, you didn't see that video? Uh, I can probably find it, but uh, ex-Marine or retired Marine, or maybe he's active, but he's w walking out of a gas station, two dudes roll up in there and pulls out a gun, oh, points yeah, it at him, yeah. and he just like, whap! <laughs> yeah. He just yeah, goes crazy on like, it. He like looks down at his bag and he like reaches up and shoves the gun up. I think he like hit the gun down like away from him like that and then just went to town on those dudes. And uh, he's probably like, oh man, I've been so bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, a he got a, he got a little, so a little medal or something. I mean, you can turn the chat off for this, but I got to ask, what's your take on the girl getting killed? I mean, there's not, it's not really super controversial. The Alec Baldwin thing is really crappy. Um, so did you hear I haven't heard, uh, other than it happening and all the news about that, I haven't really looked into it yet. So I'm waiting tweets. for the investigations. So Twitter scrubbed her tweets. You know, her husband is the one that's I mean, like part of the law firm that indicted Hillary Clinton's attorneys and stuff, right? Oh, Lord. Yeah, do some research. <laughs> it's pretty, it gets pretty like. I'm sure it gets really down rabbit holes. Of course it did. I mean, they actually like, like you can see the, there was a video on it. Obviously the video has been removed now, but there was a video going around. That like Down the rabbit hole again, demon. Yeah, Bar Berserk. Sorry, Barrett. Yeah, it's... 86 months that man has been subscribed to me. That's awesome. 86 months. I don't even know how many years that is. Math is hard. 44, so it's like, so it's like eight nine. years. Yeah. No, 96 would be eight years, seven years. Yeah, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you just got to keep the high score. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I agree. Somebody's going to go for it, though. 
They're what? Gonna have, they're gonna have to arrest somebody. Because at, at at minimum, it's negligent homicide. Yeah. So. It's uh, it's definitely uh, somebody's gonna go to jail for it. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's a tragedy all around. Like, it is. it's the whole Brandon Lee. Everybody's sad about Brandon Lee. But that was that. That was that wasn't an accident. That was totally the curse. You know the curse of Bruce Lee. Yeah. Oh, how we like stories. Um, you come look around. I do got a new cool tool. A new cool tool? Yeah, it's a new battery tester that runs off your phone. A new battery tester that runs off my phone? Where's your truck? Uh, I had to pull up some because... Mr. Mike had to get by. I wonder if we can pull this off. Let's give it a shot this time. Because um, we, mo we got more bay doors open than we normally do. Because the weather outside is reasonable. Let's see if we can keep a Wi-Fi signal inside of the truck. And also my mic signal. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry, but I figure I'd give it a shot. It's been a long time since we played Smite, isn't that the truth? Boop! The phone! We are mobile! Let me grab my little phone holder, not that one, this one. Nah, it's dumb. I'll just carry it. I'm a big boy. Let's see how long the signal lasts. Where is this bloody truck? Oh, there it is. If the signal drops out, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh. Tripping over everything. Well, quit being dirty. Um, where's the new two? What is this exactly? Is this a battery tester? Yeah. That is, it looks like a battery exploder. Yep. Here, Eric, here's your battery tester. Yeah, I don't need it. You don't need it? You don't want to just blow up the battery? No. Oh, come on. It's a good day when we blow up our batteries. Uh, John, you need to pay your bill. Go ahead and holler out your piece of Holler, he's already got all my information. You don't need to holler out anything. But in case you're wondering, it's five three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hopefully it doesn't break the. Oh, no. Okay. How much is caught? Uh, 1800 bucks. 1800 Jesus. Oh, no. You need more finger brushes? Cap Buster Kit? Yeah, that's the half size. Oh, these are half sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do done work good. Ah, oh, nuts. Boop, boop. Well, I'll see you when you get the. Come in and show me what that battery thing does. Well, thank you, man. It, we lost it. Hey, it picked it back up. Did we lose it? Hi. Hi. Cutting in and out. Was at least the audio was doing okay? Because that's on a different, that's on a totally different circuit, relatively speaking. 
I hope that was at least moderately enjoyable. We're getting to take a cruise on the, I, it, I'm sure the quality was garbage. Um, yeah, his truck is not exactly signal friendly. Being inside of a large steel box. Oh, I see it. Was it at least worth the trip out there? And any of you guys have never been inside of a uh, tool truck? But hey, if you missed it, this is the joy of YouTube. If you missed it, you can go to the YouTube link, go to the live video feed, and you can just scroll back a little bit until you find it. All right, so our wipers have worked. So that's good. Um, there's nothing wrong with the motor, nothing wrong with the connection. I do believe 100% at this point that it was shorted due to all of the junk in there. That's why she said it worked once and then it didn't. Or I believe that's why she, uh, you know, had it work once and then it stopped. Or it like, what was the exact complaint? The exact complaint was, windshield wiper stopped working, comes back on and on its own after cutting off. And so since the wipers were buried in leaves and the connectors are exposed, $1,800 for that tool cart. Yep, yep. It was two minutes ago. That's a great thing about the YouTube live stream. So if you guys want to go back and see anything that I'm talking about, you can go onto the YouTube stream and just back it up to wherever you need to, get caught up, and then you can jump in. I think I'm going to have to break out the vacuum cleaner yet again because I want to suck out all this dirt in this windshield. You know, good, that didn't, good thing I didn't put it all the way away, but there's a lot of dirt, old, wet, nasty dirt right there. Noah. If I said, sir, it's, they've gone from suck to blow, do you understand the reference? What you mean? Like, if, it's gone from suck to blow. What happens? I didn't hear the first part. Anything. She's gone from suck to blow. Yeah. What's that? I mean, I understand what you mean, but like, I don't know how to explain it. you never seen Spaceballs? No. Damn it! You're that age. You need to go watch Spaceballs. That's the, yeah. That's the reference. Go watch Spaceballs. Do that this weekend. How is Spaceballs not required viewing in school? I mean, you have seen something of a Star Wars, haven't you? Oh, God. Oh, it hurts me so much. Oh man, my soul is crying out in pain. He's never seen Star Wars either. Oh, are we sure we have to keep him working here? Can we fire him now? Oh, oh, it all hurts. My soul, my heart. 
My kids have seen Spaceballs. Okay, if there's one reason you have to watch Spaceballs is because there's so many pop culture references to it. Yeah. Yes. Who is it, sir? Why, he's a private asshole, sir. I'm surrounded by assholes. Yes, sir. You never seen what? Friends. Oh, Friends. Eh, I never really watched Friends. I've seen enough, though. Where is my win window cleaner? You just gotta watch a few episodes to get who the characters are, and then everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it's not pop culture anymore because we're all too old. But, I mean, there's still shows that make references to it. Why do I not have any window cleaner? I wanted to, wanted to clean, you know, the spot that you can't clean because the plastic's over it and stuff. Just, you know, be nice. No, you seen the windshield cleaner? Ah, I found it. Please make him go home and not come back until he's seen all 11 their radical release Star Wars movies. Wars. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you heard the chat. Go home. That's it. No more work today. Uh, I didn't take any pictures of it, but I can go back in the VOD. And, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. I think they will notice that there is a serious lack of pine straw in their windshield. Ugh. Noah has offended chat. He must pay. I do. And so does everybody else in chat. Where's the battery in this here for? Right, right here. So. Might as well just record it. Boop. So Matco has this new tool that is, looks like a jumper cable between positive and negative to which you, you know, every mechanical instinct you ever have uh, cringes at this. Which, can I get it in there? Oh, we almost lost your phone. <laughs> it's practically a short wire, battery health test. Reset successful. See if it registers and finds it quicker. Because it's, there it goes. So what kind of battery it's is It's just, it's a regular uh, standard battery. So it's probably an H6, solid. so. What's the cold cranking amp on it? You know? Probably about 650. So you click on 650, hit start. Do, 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 do. I hope that reads accurate because it's got a shitty connection. So 75% battery voltage is 12.4. Battery life is 100%. They could make the font not dark gray, but that's they about could. it. Battery's in good status. So then you go inside and you crank up the car. And it'll do the charging system and stuff the, like that. And the start duration, it does the start voltage, and then you do a load test where you rev the engine at 2,500 RPM. Mm, like a regular and battery load test. test. And prints it all out, like it saves it all. So I can mm -hmm. show you. So and so you can print it if you want to. Yeah, this is one I just did over there. So it does everything, shows you all the stuff. You can print it, you can share it. Nice. It's really, really neat. That is neat. How much is that beautiful tool? 125 bucks. 125 bucks, that's not unreasonably awful. <laughs> Not for something that takes about 45 seconds of your time and can sell you a yep. battery. Yep, and is um, wireless. Yeah, and it runs off of Android or Apple. Android or Apple. That's, really cool. That's not bad. I might have to get the boss man to buy that. That's what Eric just said. Eric was like, I kind of want this, like that y'all's tablets. He was like, I can just. Yeah, you can just to add it to your tablet. It may, it, it's a lot new. 
A lot more new. A lot new, more stuff. Obviously, you know, at some point it, it will have a bug in it just because. It'll have a bug and it'll short out the battery and everything will explode and we'll all catch on we'll fire die. and we'll all die. Oh, and uh, 125. It's uh, it's nice. It was made originally to work with the Scantles. To with the, the, oh, and then they made it work with. Yeah, the launch Scantles that'll work with those two, but then they we're like, you know what, let's make it a little it's, further. Yeah, it's one of those, it was a good idea. They made it to work with the launch scan tools. And then they're like, you know, this will probably sell pretty well as a standalone device. Yeah. And I guarantee you it will. Hey, what do you think? I like it. Pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. I think we should make Ken buy it. Well, we already got that one, which already is crappy. The regular battery tester. We got a brand new one that nobody knows how to work. We do? See, Keep, I didn't know we had a brand new one. I haven't had a chance to try to see how it works, so I can't tell you if that nobody knows how it works I because I haven't tried it. Hmm. Let me put it this way. Jason can't make it work. Jason can't make it work. Okay. It's, it's, it's over there on the top, Kevin. Oh, okay. It's, I didn't, in. it's about this big. I haven't seen that. I didn't know it existed. And they, um, Interstate dropped it off two months ago. Huh. See, I, I've got a bunch of people. Glad they told me. I say that. I have a four or five shops going away from interstate batteries because they could get batteries with dead cells on them. Everybody's batteries. Well, that's what I mean. I, everybody's batteries. <laughs> we did test this against an OE tester, which is like one that Brown Motorworks has. And the guy was like, I want to see if it works. So we went outside and found a car in a lot that was, had like a shit battery in it. And it, it read the exact same as their OE tester and everybody in the shop with it. <gasps> Shock! I was like, ha! Huh? And we're like, yeah, instead of carrying that big bulky thing out here, I'm... carry two wires. You can use it to hold up your pants too. Yeah. What I was saying was, um, because it runs off an app, just put it on the app. Yeah. Give it to your Luke to he's make him walk around. Like he's this. using it. I mean, he's using it on his phone. But, <laughs> you know, I'd rather use it on a. Uh, I'd rather use it on a tablet. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Either that's or. What, that's why I told the guys at the other shops like. The app works on if any. Everybody has tablets, and you just download it to a tablet, and it just literally Bluetooths. So. And you can just copy paste it into the ticket. Yeah. 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 Well, you can copy paste it, you can share it, or you can print it. So if your tablet's up to the printer up front, yeah. hit the print button and it sends it up you there. Know, I don't mm -hmm. know if any of our tablets are. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. We have to go yeah, through. There's, there's so many it's, a, it's so annoying to. Do that. Like, it's so annoying to try and hook up computers to printers. I can't imagine. I've never tried to hook up a tablet to a printer, so. Well, you know, the bad thing is our launch scan tool, which is, you know, Ancient. Several, several years old now, even the launch rep could not make it print. So ours is made, our big scan tool is made by launch, and it's very difficult. I ain't even gonna bullshit. It's very difficult to, to hook it to a printer. Yeah, and like, I don't know why, it's just a pain in the dick. Like once you get it hooked up, it works. But God forbid the printer ever crashes, you gotta fucking change it. Well, <laughs> like I said, we had the long trip here, and he couldn't make it work either. He's like, ah. Oh. He, he goes, well, you can do it this way by like copying, and pasting, and sending it. It's like, no, I wanna hit print. And it come out over there. What they don't tell you is a lot of the scan tools, they have printers specifically for them that you can order that it works with. This tool. See, our original launch, the first one we ever had, had a built-in printer. Right. Now, it was, it was bigger. It was a bigger <laughs> unit. But uh, it had a built-in printer with a scroll. Well, that's shape. how the interstate battery testers work. They're like this long. That's what we got and now. It had a yeah, printer, it's a little tiny printer paper at the top. Yeah, it it's cool. one of those probably now it is is easier generally to hook up phones to printers because phones are obviously everywhere. Well, I will say the best phone I've ever seen hook into a printer is my brother-in-law's Apple phone. Yeah, yeah I'm sure Apple's Apple aren't bad. Are, matter of fact, one Christmas, <clears throat> one Christmas morning he gave his kids some um, iPods mm -hmm. for music. They'd hook to the printer and we're like, what the hell? <laughs> well, I'll tell, I'll tell oh, you it's a Bluetooth this. printer? The new, oh. the new, oh, yeah. the new iPhone 13 my wife's got, and the camera and stuff on that, is it's impressive. Impressive. It's impressive. You like these accents? What accents? Ain't no accent. Ain't no accent around here, boy. I tell you what, we all talk totally normal. That's a Hyundai. <laughs> That's a Hyundai. Y'all be safe. Later, man. Come back next week so we can make Ken buy that, or two of them. Maybe we'll make them buy a pair. One for every one of us. Where did I put the plate that goes, oh, right here. Oh, I was gonna wipe that again until he came back in here with that.
Yeah, so it's like, it's got to be a Wi-Fi printer or something like that. It can't just be, you know, any old printer is going to work. I know, I know, I'm not an idiot. Only sometimes, and by sometimes, I mean most of the time. Except on Sundays, but twice on Saturdays. Beautiful, look at that. So glossy, so deep black. Look at that, look, 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 look. So clean, mm, except for this. I can't really get that to get up. It's like, I have to get the razor blade out, scrape it. But I'm nice, I'm not gonna take that much time though. Sweet. Uh, this. Yo. You know, I wonder if we're all gonna starve to death. Food was ordered an hour ago. I'm just trying to get off the majority of that dirt that was caked up on here. I'm not really worried about making this look pretty. I'm just trying to get off the big chunks of dirt. I mean, they might just park under a tree. They might live in an apartment complex and they don't have anywhere else to park. Maybe that's their designated parking spot. If it is, I'd take it up with the apartment complex and be like, yo, 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 you're gonna make me park under this tree that you're not gonna keep trimmed. And you're gonna pay for my repairs on my car. They're gonna be required because of parking under this bloody tree. Let's see what they say about that. They'd probably tell you to stuff it, but hey, at least you tried. All right, so the motor's in. Put these in, there's two bolts on each side. Or sorry, one bolt on each side, so there's two bolts. There is two bolts, one on each side. That is the proper way of saying that. If you've just joined us, hello, welcome. This is a automotive stream during the week and sometimes on Sunday. We stand up and yell at each other all day because we hate politics. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, Berserk. Have fun. It's better than many of the alternatives that are out there currently.
Oh, Jesus. Why'd you bring it back here? Well, I don't want to park back here so I don't lose it. He says after I lose it. Hello. Now let's put this on, put the wiper blades on, and off we go. Hopefully it all works out wonderfully. So this fits in here. Beautiful. Hooray. I like that battery tool though. I wonder what the, uh, and you guys want to see if there's a generic version of that out there? And finally, the wiper blades. Wiper blades are okay. Woo! I thought they were okay. <laughs> I was just like, just feeling it up. All right, there we go. Uh, this is this side. The blade fell off while I was holding it up because whoever put these on suck. What the hell did they do? This thing is not even slightly correct. I don't know what, there we go. That's correct. See, that's correct. What kind of time are we running up on right now? We're at four hours. Okay, we got plenty of time. In case we just don't get food until we die of starvation. Would you look at that? Try to make sure they don't hit. No, they're barely missing, but they're missing. Good. Woo! Watch my fingers. Success. There, just make sure they're guten tight. The German tightness. Guten tight. 
Listen, the sprayers and what direction they're spraying ain't my problem right now. You want me to look at that later? Fine. But right now their wipers work, their headlight works, their cigarette lighters work. This little laundry list of little crap is done. Thank you, Wolfram! That's what happened. I totally missed Wolfram coming in for the raid. It must have been outside or something. Full send. All right. Let's write this all up. I like it when a problem comes out nicely in the end. Windshield wiper stopped working. Disassemble. There. Disassembled the wiper system. The cowling area was full of leaves and debris. Cleaned out the junk and started testing. We had voltage on the wires and I powered the motor itself and it worked fine. Conclusion, the debris was so full and wet it was shorting out the exposed motor connections, able to short them together, uh, thusly not allowing the wipers to work. It works well now. Stop parking under a tree. Bingo, bango. Dunzo. And now we just need mileage. Yeah, it's, it's one of those sprayers. I, I hate it when you're going down the road and your windshield's all nice and clean. It's a nice drive.